Hello everyone. Welcome to Arthral Studio. Welcome Jyoti, Shweta, Bala, Mausami. If you all can hear me and see me well, so just checking on the audio and the video. If you confirm, we will be starting today's session, our day five of Kalimgari course. Good afternoon, Lata. Good afternoon. Okay, so just type a yes if it is going through uh, well. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Yes, okay, thanks, Parvati. Okay, since uh, just checking and it is going through well, today we are going to do, we are on our day five, day five of our Kalamgari course. So in our Kalamgari course, we have already done our borders, birds and many uh, things, four mudras and so four of the classes have already gone by. Those who have joined us new with me today, as many of you would have joined it. So today is the day five and today we are going to do a very beautiful and majestic animal and that is an elephant and how to make an elephant in Kalamgari. If we talk about the main subject of our picture, that is the elephant. Elephant is known for its massiveness, beauty and abundance. The elephant is symbolic of abundance and so and uh, if we talk about Kalamkari, Kalamkari has already been uh, associated with gods and goddesses and the narratives of the tales. So we see uh, elephants in Ganesha's picture. We, de we see it in pa uh, Lakshmi's also, while well, the two of the elephants, the white elephants specifically, they are just showering water. Uh, so we see that in many of the uh, our Kalamkari pictures. So we will be doing that as uh, one picture solely how to make an elephant. There is no change in the form of it, but yes, the way we beautify it, the main uh, uh, specific detailing differs from that in different styles. Okay, those who have not subscribed the channel and are viewing, your cha our chat will be enabled for you if you subscribe. So uh, please subscribe. If you have any questions, you will be able to write in the chat box. All the queries that you might have, please type it down with working if I will try to catch up with all, if in case I miss, you can put it up again. Okay, so uh, here I'm focusing my work on the table and I will be briefing you on all what stuff we need today. So here what I've taken is A4 size paper and our day one has already covered different types of borders so here i have left a margin wherein you can make any uh, sort of border be it broad or be it thin generally when we are doing a motif or a picture uh, then there are few geometric borders very less but yes we have one or two only typical types of uh, geometric borders which are slant lines we do that otherwise most of them are floral if we see the borders in our dresses, Kalamkari dresses, the borders will be thick and they might have elements like elephants also. So elephant today is the main focus of the picture, whereas you will all, you may find it in uh, the fabrics as well. Fabric, if I talk about, it can be on the uh, sari, the pata, any, anything, borders. If Kalamkari we talk about, then elephants are the major majorly seen apart from the birds which are majorly peacocks and parrots so our peacock is already posted i think in our day three so please go and view it if you are new and then this is just the plotting where we will be working i'll just adjust a little camera and before i do any picture i just plot a the picture here so just to begin with 
just chalking out the margin as in whatever margin you want to add. I will just add one inch of the design that we will continue for the other. Yes, Prabha, what's your question? Ma'am, today we want acrylic paints also. Maybe, may not be. I might be able to do only a section of it because coloring and drawing will not be possible in one full class. I will just suggest you the colors and then later we can just do it. Okay, so just to begin the picture, I will, I always prefer chalking my picture with the pencil. This, why with the pencil? Because if you want to do a freehand picture, you will get the idea of the spacing of how big your picture is going to be and what all um, modifications you can do. Because once you are creating a picture, it gets very handy for you to see and adjust. And while you are doing any artwork, your new ideas might pop in while you're working on it. So you're just taking the main subject as the center. And roughly, I will be just plotting my picture here. The elephant can be the front facing, the side facing. We see that there is a big hump over here. Very simple and here, this. So just space yourself for the elephant. So I'll take it a little bigger. And there. You can give it a straight twist or so I've just roughly given my thing here. I don't do very fine lines for that. So here this is the picture that I will be doing. So very rough, very rough like okay just few lines to sketch where it is. We won't be tracing these lines. So just placing and seeing the proportions is a thing which most of you might want to do it. So here. So this is a massive cloth all ornamentation that is done on the cloth. We will be doing that as well. And this elephant is in motion. So one foot will be like this. I'm just giving a very rough one. So, so this is pretty much for my picture. So, this it's a very basic thing. Now, I will be starting with my ornamentation for the uh, Kalamkari picture. So the first thing I've plotted the body, you have to see few things that the body should be bigger, shorter legs, they should be of the same thickness, very simple, very uh, anatomical study on the animal and the head is massive, ear should be big and whichever way you want the trunk to be. So now here I will be inking my thing. So this gives us the room of overlapping. So I want this task to be here. And then I, if I have chalked it out, I know that it is overlapping here. You will see with the uh, pen. I'm doing it and you will be able to see Parvati. Can you please draw dot? I am doing this. When we draw the uh, outlines or you have to plot yourself, it is very rough. If I hold it closer, you will see how many lines are there. Just very rough sketch of plotting your picture just to see the proportions falling in place. That is whenever I do any of the picture, I just do this rough sketch. So here. Now we will be adding the details, giving it the thickness. So this is the trunk, really beautiful massive.
Now, when we do Kalamkari, it is all curvy lines. So, wherever uh, these are the small details that will make it vary from the vary from the other styles. Like in Madhubani, you will just see double borders. And here it is no double border purposefully done. And this is the curvy. So here this. Make it the ear. So just a single outline just for making of the I will be plotting the, the cloth that is there. This will give us the idea of how much of the feet is being shown. now when we put any ornamentation it is obviously not in the body it is those are the bands so they will add a little volume as in the curve will come so here with the pencil i have already made it so it will be easy for me to curve this end like this. So this band stands a little more than the more than the skin. So the foot. These. Uh, this is a small uh, feature that you would not want to leave when you are doing it in Kalamgari. For the for the feet, this feature comes in the uh, pictures of birds as well. So whenever we do birds, we see that their their um, claws are very well defined and very heavy, very strong. Okay, yes, I am using a uniball. Uh, sorry, uh, I just missed that. Uniball waterproof pen. And this is a drawing pen. I use it as a drawing pen because when you paint with any color, be it poster color or acrylic paint, your color of the black outline will be permanent. So it is not that it will bleed. Yes, those who are not able to attend or work with me right now, the recording will be available. So if it is not, you are not able to attend at 3 o'clock, you can watch the same recording at 4 o'clock. So it will be there and it will stay there. And we are going to do the another part. This We have to check that the thickness of the uh, leg is the same. So here putting another band so this comes handy when you've already drawn it with pencil so basic sketch with pencil so that you know that ornamentation will just add a little more volume and it will not be like a thing that is in the skin So here, this is the second one. We'll go to the third one. So if it's moving, it's overlapping feet. I'll just complete this one, the back one. So 
So here, little variation you will see that my pencil lines are not adhering to my pen lines and that is okay because I didn't mean to do any tracing and whenever you do, in, in the Hastakala style, um, Shri Kala Hasti style, there are two styles. For those who have joined us new, there are two styles of this Kalamkari painting which originated in Andhra Pradesh. Shri Kala Hasti style is a free hand done with the Kalam or the bamboo pen. Whereas the other which is Machali Patnam, generally the blocks are made in wood and they are uh, stenciled. So one design can have many blocks. One blocks is known as the main uh, nus. We call it the nus in uh, the term and that is the whole thing. The whole thing, the outline will be there and then the filling of the color, we will have other blocks as well. So one picture can have many blocks. So completion is a tedious task of this. This is done on paper. We are doing it on paper just knowing how the form is, how the pictures are made. But originally these paintings were done on cloth, 100% cotton cloth. And they were, uh, they were painted as the narratives and uh, the narratives were illustrated so the stories and the uh, mythical stories and the gods and goddesses stories were told and narrated in the temple and they were only illustrated and the cloth was hung in the uh, temple when the cloth was hung it was there and it is a very tedious task of making an authentic cloth piece with Kalamkari design because it needs 27 steps of doing, boiling, dyeing, washing and bleaching. There are so many steps to make one authentic piece. We are not that privileged to do it in our regular house setup. So the, just knowing it and now we have started in doing it on canvas, on paper, on fabric doing different uh, uh, using different easy available planes because we are all not very trained skilled or privileged to, to have all the organic substances and knowing how to make those pigments so definitely we'll have to do our researches on that nothing is impossible we can go ahead but here it is only on paper using it is a a4 size paper if you mean to see uh, if you mean to paint the picture of the paper you try to go on a very thick paper thick paper as in the gsm or the grams per square meter of the paper the heaviness of the paper should be more So these are small gentle curves in the foot you will see that depression is here. That will come with observation of the animal. So it's not like only straight lines. So a general curve based on how the animal is. So I'm pretty much done with my basic sketch and there is a little tail. This is it. Now we will go on the beautification of the picture. Now beautification if we add the main motif is here. If you want to add tassels or flowers or garlands or tree or grass that is also good. We can do that. If in case we want to just study this. We have done a lot and there is one more uh, video that will come for how to make different kinds of plants and flowers in uh, Kalamkari style so that that will be released tomorrow so this now I will just want to get rid of my all these lines that I've made which are now clashing with the main uh, picture I'll just rub it off and we are ready with the our main picture now all the decorations generally go by the style of this picture and Kalamkari style has a very curvy approach to any kind of beautification. So here we will go one by one starting from the top and giving the details. There is no uh, outline necessary. 
whereas if you want to add the visual effects of it you may add one more outline but it is not a compulsion that it has to have a double outline as a highlight that is the only feature in um, madhubani art so here you will see that this kind of a scallop design is mostly seen you may not be very calculative uh, and just make it like count it. just go freehand and do it uh, Mehek, please do reply. Yes, Mehek, what's your question? I think I missed your question. Please repeat your question. Thank you, everyone. So I'm making a few. This you can pick from the basic design of a flower or whatever decoration you want to add. So this and now here continuing this design over the back as well this is a very simple design I'm just simplifying it a little more for you so if in case for few if the design is not coming perfect just try to make this kind of curved lines like this and then going over the top and making the circles this is I'm just simplifying I can just do it but just curve it and this because I know that there are few smaller kids also following it so here then again I'm doing a little smaller one here this way just going around the same and doing this kind of this is very widely seen design in Kalankari. And as we recede on it or as we are ending on to this, can you share pair of elephants if you have if you have with you available tomorrow? No, I don't have any pair of elephants. You can make any number of elephants. I will just, uh, I can uh, brief you on how the how the motion of the uh, elephant is after this. I can just tell you how it will look like if it is moving or straight. But you can make one or many depending on the movement. So if the head is here and you want to make the trunk go up, you can do that. The body will not change as much because it is not a very curvy body. So elephant's body, only the legs would move. Generally, you do not see the this block moving. The whole body doesn't move. Thank you so much. So the whole body doesn't move. So this kind of stays just the same. Foot will be, the foot system will be the same. What will change is the trunk or the head. So head can either go this side or it can turn to this side. So that is the most uh, seen movement. And here it can go up, it can go sideways, whichever way you want the trunk to be. I'm just turning these down like this so this is the other side for the tail here some tassels will be attached now this is a normal band if you want to accessorize it even more then we can add few tassels now how to add the tassels it is this is a flower pattern. I will show you major patterns in one picture so that you can make a choice of what you have to add. So if we talk about the tassels, they go like this and there. And again, this will be a feature. 
you can have one layer or multiple layer as well and the size is receding means it's going from big to small so that it gives a visual effect so here you can add this way also I'll just finish the other one this one here if we have to do any shade work in the picture how do we do the shading in Kalamkari so in the line based drawing we do not do the shading mostly if you want to do the block coloring the only thing that will add the effect is few lines and this will give you the effect of little shade that is widely used so for the leaves also we will see that mid ways will be there sorry about that so that is the thing this we can make multiple layers here we can make different depends on how beautiful you want your elephant to be how uh, beautiful adorned royal elephant or just a regular elephant so that is up to your choice of so probably i'm going on to the royalty of this royal elephant here now again adding those beautiful details is down here All of this here also I can add some bells or flowers whatever you want to put it as I'm putting some flowers here I'll put a very beautiful bell over here if we want to paint ma'am okay uh, Mehak, if you want to paint you I will be in the end I will be showing you what all options you have to paint You may color the elephant also or you may just color the background depends on your choice and whatever how how colorful you want it to be generally people have taken that approach that only the background color is uh, background is colored and it stays as a white maybe sometimes you would just color the cloth and that's it and some embellishments will be colored so choice of coloring how how colorful you want it to be you can go on that so this now coming to the center of the cloth here any kind of design is okay any kind of design if you want to do the overall pattern then also it is okay we have talked about in our previous ones as well those who have not um, uh, max beats are not able to understand what's written ma'am please draw bare girl grills i i sorry please retype it again thank you eric okay so coming back to this side of it i'm just adding a beautiful heavy border so i'm just layering the border more adding little sections in the now here in this we can add a little bit of corners design as well so it is totally up to your wish what design you want to add but then whenever we are picking on any traditional design we have to uh, we have to uh, totally fall into the category as in category we should not go beyond the style so keeping ourselves hooked to the style of a picture we can do experimentations so here the same thing i'm going to do it here 
you can do deep toothed scallop design you can do I'm doing the double ones here so anything can be filled you might not be able to color everything in one color because then the design will be lost so you can just take alternate design and color it which color are used in kalamkari uh, purnima as i talked about it kalamkari in kalamkari we use organic colors but here if you do not have organic colors we have over the count over the top we get a lot of acrylic paints watercolors fabric colors depending on what medium you are you, you have to paint if i am doing it on the paper i can easily go for a poster color i can go for brush pens i can go for alcohol uh, markers uh, copic pens anything from that i can also if i use want to use paints i can go with app acrylic paints acrylic paints is a most versatile medium and works well on paper canvas or plastic and many things so acrylic if you have you are good to go with many uh, surfaces I'm just giving it a deep tooth scallop design or the U. Now these are done very roughly. That is also one thing. We may go like very fine, but it's not needed as such. You will see uh, when you see Kalamkari authentic work, you will see the bamboo uh, drips, like the color that is dripping. So I have a pen here i have showed it in previous class also how was it done the bamboo was shaven from the top uh, for the desired thickness for the desired thickness if in case it is a filling like suppose i am i have to fill the background i will just keep a thicker a thicker tip of it and then i will just and this is the portion that absorbs the color this is cotton it i have done it with cotton it is also done with cotton cloth and then a thread is been wrapped around as a spool so crisscross pattern and once it is done and tied it is the bamboo pen for kalamkari is like this not like the madhubani pen madhubani pens are not with this tip madhubani um, bamboo pens are with fine tip like this so just like the nib here in this case now these are dipped in the organic colors and then the person would hold it like this and keep on squeezing the cotton and then filling up the color in desired places. So sometimes when we see, we see that the, the colors are rough, there would be bleeding of the lines, there could be color overlap and then we might think, oh, it's not a very authentic piece, it's not looking very fine, but then that is the most authentic piece. So here, that is about the pen and how they used to do it. Colors were organic. They are with different, different substance. They used to get the colors and the process also involved. So process as in like a lot of soaking of seeds, then boiling and using uh, alam. Uh, uh, alam is... Um, in Hindi, we call it fitkari. So that is one element that is used in the kalamkari and it reacts to different substances in various way in different ways and then the color pigment changes so if it is a yellow and the alum is uh, put over it then once it is washed it will turn red so this kind of um, reactions will be done to get different kinds of colors And the washing of this cloth is any cloth that is a kalamkari cloth has to be in continuously running water. It's not like in a tub or anything because the colors are released 
and these are organic colors they are released and should not be dunked in one tub so that it it will transfer the color to the other side so it's continuous flow of water here i'm going to do the center design it's more like a mandala feature Now here I'm adding one more, this kind of a design, it's a flower design. Thank you. Thank you so much for liking the channel. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just missing anybody's question has been missed. You can ask me. Uh, I'll just answer it. Thank you, Mehek. Thank you. Those who have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you get further notifications on different art forms also. I know that many of you have joined in because of the queries. They were coming. You have joined in new and we continue doing different workshops on different art forms. Kalamkari is the ongoing workshop. We have already done tribal arts and different traditional art forms. And we will continue to do so. In our live sessions, you will always see the live sessions wherein I will try to teach the art form. Followed by maybe a few of the videos that I would upload. <laughs> Meg, yes, I consider. <laughs> Here, so just giving it like this and I will be just covering it with the same kind of a design. This. Probably the people had a fondness for this kind of design because I have not received any, while I was researching, I didn't receive any like, why this design? Why this scallop design? I didn't get an answer for that. So it is just that it is done in this way. Probably those who started it the, when it was originated, just because of the visual effect of it, like this. You may add small motifs in this and here I'm just adding the side curvy border and major portions with just small flowers. Whichever flower you want to add, you may add. So here, this. We can also color this as a bold color and probably I would just want to leave it so that there is some play of color. I'm just giving these polka dots. So this finishes with this portion of the elephant. I'm adding some more line. Someone asked me in the comments of the thing that black is what black. So here in this and in Madhubani uh, painting, the black is very different. Here the black is obtained by extracting uh, uh, the black color and then mixing it and boiling it for a longer time to get that um, intense pigment because now it is done in on fabric and we wash the fabric, we we use it rough so it is not that all of it is framed and put on the on the walls but here if in case it is a fabric it needs a lot of treatment to make it permanent and that is with the boiling we do it for many of the dyes where we are uh, doing the 
stuff to say like batik is there then thai and dye is there where boiling and washing and repeated repeated uh, boiling and dyeing is done so to get the darker colors put this here now i will add a beautiful decoration on the trunk i will post my instagram uh, link also to you those who are not following me on my facebook you most welcome to follow me there because mostly all the notifications all the new uh, announcements are done on um, on my uh, facebook page first that is the first thing so here this is a different kind of a feature so here also i am curving this side the same curve that i did it on the foot This is one. Now a big necklace that is a must. So here is the bell. That's your. I can have a big. A little longer one, which is. like this two of them now we see that there is some kind of ornamentation for the trunk area so i'm doing the my head here So I'm just adding that uh, the design, the same design that I did it here. this we may color it and it will all come separate now the eye of the elephant is not very big it's small beautiful eye 
enhances the whole picture. So this eye here and down here I'm giving the small ribbed that is there for the lower part of the truck. Now this is a very detailed one. Sometimes when you will see it in the borders or anything, you will just see the outline and the color fill for the animal. for the ivory. Generally we see that they are covered with gold coverings or depending on how, how it is. So we can add that as well. This same kind of coming, uh, same kind of design would be coming on this, and slowly we'll just go till this part. It will not go all over. It will get very light when it is the end. So here we can have a little bit of motive design as the trunks are mostly painted. So we will just do the detail work. doing the double outline to give it a little open effect. Now when we look at a picture, the picture looks fine, it looks complete. But what if uh, you want to add a little bit of background? Thank you, Anamika. What if you want to do a little bit of background? Thank you. Thank you for the subscription. Here, we can have the tassels. So they will just fill up a little bit of the lower portion. Like this. Very simple, not too heavy. Otherwise, the beauty of your elephant will, will get a little, um, it will coincide with the over background the background being too heavy so always whenever we paint or whenever we draw anything the balancing of the picture is very important it shouldn't be that the main subject is lost and the overall background or probably some places when we are doing a tree of life for example the main focus is the tree and then we will have smaller birds peacocks and small animals all around birds so then the tree is eminent and it should require more space and more beauty as compared to the basic bird so if we want to do the main subject as a bird sitting on the tree then the tree has to go so just balancing and highlighting it with the color choice as well would be a good option so it totally depends on how much area or how much importance you want to give it to the subject. Yes, Poonam, you can use brush pens as well. But um, just see to it. Brush pens are actually good in a way that you do get transparent effect. If you use poster colors for that instance, if you use poster colors, sometimes the poster colors goes on your black line and the line gets faded off. So for if in case you are doing this, 
then you might lose your black lines. Then you can go for a transparent brush pen will come beautiful. So only for the bottom portion I'm adding, not tassels on the sides. Though I'll just add a little bit of uh, things around so that for your personal choice, if you want, you will not be stuck. So here, this this finishes with the elephant here, and any. Okay, uh, Kumal is asking, ma'am, before starting Kalimkari painting on the canvas board or sheet, do we have to give a base coat? So base coat, if you are doing it on the canvas, you will get it primed already. So when you buy a canvas and you turn the canvas the other side, you will see that the white color is not there. It's more uh, creamy. So that means it is not primed. Generally, when you will get a ready-made canvas, it will be already primed. So no need. But if you, um, or sheet, which sheet are you talking about? The cloth, sheet of cloth or sheet of paper? If in case paper, no need. If in case I don't have bamboo pen. You don't have bamboo pen. If you're doing it on the paper, you can do it with a waterproof pen. If in case you want to do it uh, with another nib, you can go for the nib also. This has been elaborately talked about in my Madhubani. I do my Madhubani with the nib. But for this, I just take a pen. Yes, you may use it. Use the brush pen. Tholu and Kalamkari. Tholu, uh, Tholu lamps are very much similar in the way of their adorn. But Tholu, uh, Tholu is done on the leather. So leather, uh, we get the hide of the goat or the sheep. And on that, it is the skin is cleared and then the lamp is being made. While uh, in Tholu, you will see that even if it is a Kalamkari picture, here you will see whatever uh, dots I'm making, they will be punching those dots. And they are used as the lamp or the, um, what do you call, uh, the lamp or the puppets. So the other side, there will be light. And this light perforates from these uh, dots. So for the jewelry and all and the lamps that you're talking about, there will be punching done. So whenever the light is behind, the punching will show the light. So the lamps and the uh, puppets stand alive. So here and yes, pretty much where was I? Okay, yeah. Here I will add a few uh, the ground element here. So just doing a little bit of it. Just giving it where I want my things to be. And on that, just making big. So I placed all of them. Here I made one and probably human forms also. Yes, Jyoti, we will be doing human forms also. In the course, we will do human faces. The typical faces that we make of male, female, side face, front face, the whole body figure, how to make it, how to make motion figures, how to make musicians, we'll all talk about. So this is an elaborate course and will take you through a lot. Here, so I've added these elements over here. Not keeping it too cramped. I'll just make it simple. Like this. For the border, if in case we wish to, we can add just uh, this kind of a border also. This is very, very simple border. And for the frames, it will look perfect. 
this only geometric border which we practice here otherwise we do most of the curvy ones now for doing the background if in case you want to do the background you may just do the flowers you may also do the tassels that we have done while we were doing peacock you can have a look at that as well and here if in case i want to do a tree maybe a small branch of tree coming from there just to give it a more Here, I'm just adding a trunk, the tree trunk. And then a very simple plant. The plant, we can plot our uh, flowers first if in case you want to do the flowers. Always keep your flowers full. That is also a feature that you will see. So I'm just making any flower. You may not uh, want to stick to one here I'm doing this kind of a flower with very limited detailing so there is no detailing as such like this i have added few just to show you the how it has to be right and then here i am just adding and you will see that the cluster the cluster of the leaves will just grow like this so again not very calculative you do not have to hop really on the uh, highs of these curves you may just go random and keep doing this kind of a feature. You will see this kind of a tree. In Patachitra also, there are few, this kind of a tree that we see. We, we do find it and it is not that. It is just two things come same for this. This is one. If we have to do the leaf feature where we want to do the leaf, we have talked about this kind of leaf also. If you want to add very few leaves and not the distant um, tree. Distant tree means the tree is far off where you do not see uh, each and every edge of the leaf. Then you can just go for this. So for the distant trees, you can go for this. If in case you want to do the focused picture of the leaf and the flowers, you can go for such kind of a leaf. And these flowers will only stand separate when it is colored. Otherwise, it will come in the group. So, this is our... Any specifications, any uh, subject that you want, like Jyoti mentioned today, that she wants the, the figures. And we would be doing that as a part of our course. So, we will be doing it. So, anything that is left, we will be covering it. If in case you want any specifications like you want to do this, then please write to me in Kalamkari. Right now because the ongoing course is in Kalamkari. So please center yourself to Kalamkari and write what subjects you want to be taught and I will go ahead. Tomorrow we are going to do uh, the horse. That is a little more um, higher uh, than this higher in the sense because the formation of the horse has the body here the body is quite rounded but the horse is shows more motion so we will talk about that and how to do those so this is the way you can just fill all of your three portions you may or may not go very dense that is totally your choice So here, that should be pretty much. If you want to add, you can add the, on the other side as well. I want to keep it like this. And for the colors, you can go ahead and color the background and leave the elephant white. If in case you want to color the thing, then what colors would you choose for the elephant? That is your choice. Definitely will not do it pink and blue and green. So we can go for a black that will stand nice. We can go for a brown, gray or white. Those are much more realistic. It will look more subtle. 
but if in case we see in kalamkari in the borders we will see that one elephant has been stenciled so many times and with variant colors variant colors if i say you will see a pink elephant also and that's totally about the combination okay so thank you all for your time and your participation i really appreciate that you spend your weekends with me and i hope to see you tomorrow also at three o'clock and we will do with another subject if i get time i'll keep it colored and i'll show it in the class tomorrow so thank you all and if you have any um, questions please write to me and i will answer it in the comments so the same video if you have not liked do like and subscribe so that i get to know what appreciation i'm getting <laughs> thank you thank you everyone uh please can you color sure I'll, I'll share the coloring also we will be doing coloring in our later videos thank you all for uh, your time see you tomorrow at 3